Did we do it? Yes. What's going on guys? If you want to support our content and pick up this month's amazing Patreon rewards, you can do so at patreon.com slash it resolves. If you're interested in custom playmats and sleeves, visit yourplaymat.com and use code itresolves10yp for 10% off your entire purchase. What is going on everybody and welcome back to another standard gameplay video. Hope you guys are doing exceptionally well today. We're trying to get back into it, trying to get back on top of videos. I know it's been busy uh, with Thanksgiving last week and that kind of stuff kind of lost track, but we're back uh, and hopefully stacking up on two videos today because we got a funny deck that we're going to be playing. This is Hollowed Runes. This is by Legend VD. Uh, he did post that over on Aether Hub, which is where I found it. Uh, Legend VD, a fantastic deck builder. Go check out his channel. It's fantastic. But uh, yeah, this is interesting. So I wanted to play this for a couple of reasons. One, it's Hollowed Haunting Week on the challenge submission side of things anyway. And so I thought I'd try it in standard as well. Uh, and so I was actually kind of looking for some builds with this. And this is actually the first one that popped up, which I thought was hilarious. Is it good? Maybe not, but we're going to try it. Uh, the idea is very simply to capitalize on playing as, a, as many enchantments as you can. Uh, and the way that we're trying to do that is once we have the Hollowed Haunting down, have Runeforge Champion down, which basically says all runes cost one of any color. It doesn't matter what color it is. Uh, as you can tell, we've got quite a number of runes uh, in our deck. So the idea is that we can essentially just play those out for very, very cheap uh, spam a lot of little spirit tokens and get all the power on the board very, very quickly. Using Rune of Speed, we can hopefully give them haste, uh, maybe some lifelink, maybe some death touch, uh, and get in for a very, very quick attack uh, to hopefully finish off the game. Alternatively, we can Meat Hook Massacre, uh, which not only can kill the opponent's stuff, but obviously can uh, basically end the game on its own. We've got Curse of Silence to slow the opponent down. Uh, and then Circle of Confinement here, as as well as Borrowed Time, as just options to to essentially uh, clean out some of the permanents on the opponent opponent's side of the field. Now Showdown of the Skulls is also in here. This is, can throw some counters around, but also keep us in the game, which is important. Uh, and that's the whole deck. That's it. Uh, now, importantly, what's worth noting here, anytime you play these runes, you do draw a card, which is really important. You can also enchant a permanent, not necessarily a creature. So we can actually enchant like a, a Curse of Silence or something like that, uh, and instead of like attaching it to a creature. So if we don't have a creature on the board, it's actually okay. Uh, very, very interesting list. We're gonna try this today, guys. We're gonna have some fun, hopefully get some wins. If we don't, it's fine, but I think this is gonna be a really silly list. And again, Legend VD, thank you so much for sharing this over on Aether Hub. Really does mean a lot. Let's jump into it, guys. Let's see how we do. All right, guys, here we are for game number one. And this is a pretty easy keep, actually. We've got the Curse of Silence here. Uh, that's gonna be our turn one play, obviously. Uh, and then we can hopefully throw, slow things down. Wow, on the opponent's side of the field. Uh, I'm gonna throw this out. And I'm actually gonna name Blood on the Snow. Um, now, the reason being, uh, that's a very easy way to kind of deal with this deck. So we want to do our best to slow that down as best we can. Curse of Silence, very interesting card. Not necessarily a very good card, uh, but it is really funny. Um, now they have Vulky. Clearly we have no creatures in the deck, so that's perfectly fine. Um, I think we'll go ahead and throw this out for black. Um, what else do we want to name? Maybe it's... Uh, Tybalt, Cosmic Imposter. I think that makes sense. We're just trying to, again, we know they've got that card, so we're just trying to slow it down here. Uh, we've got the Borrowed Time, which is going to be able to deal with the Valky. Uh, Acquisitions Expert is a good one. I will happily show a Rune, uh, which they will discard. We can actually get that back with the Champion, so I'm not terribly worried about that. Uh, there's a Showdown. That's not bad. Um... I will go ahead and throw this out here. It's not necessarily great, let me be clear, but it is something to slow them down a bit. It also is another enchantment, and we do have an enchantment cap that we're trying to get to uh, for the Hollowed Haunting. So anything we play now could potentially just help us out later. Uh, let's discard both of these runes. Not great, of course, but uh, is manageable. Hopefully we draw a land here. If we draw a land, we might be able to play Showdown, which would be perfect. 
absolutely perfect. Also, guys, just as a quick reminder, oh, look at this. Guys, we're amazing. Um, let's go red. Uh, just as a quick reminder, if you are not already, please feel free to subscribe. It really would mean a lot to us. Any and all support is greatly appreciated, so please feel free. Uh, it, You guys do not understand how much that helps out, so please try uh, if you would like to, to help as best you can. That would mean a lot. Uh, Alright, that's fine. Uh, I am just going to throw out the Hollowed Haunting. I understand that we're missing out on these two cards here by doing this, and that's not great, but Hollowed Haunting is a repeated creature, essentially, for most of our decks, so I do want to get that down. Hopefully we don't draw a land this coming turn. Okay. Annoying. Very, very annoying. Uh, I'm going to lose three life, I think. It's not good, but it is what it is. Oh, no. Oh no. All right, uh, well, all we got's a land, so we'll discard this land this time uh, and hope for a better draw. Uh, they can activate this again if they would like, which is terrifying. Oh, they didn't. Now value three or less. I wish that was that, but that's okay. Let's do this. Let's uh, get this acquisitions expert out of here. We're gonna untap that. Uh, I'm going to sacrifice a non-land permanent. Let's do this. We'll get that Acquisitions Expert out of there. That's not super great, I know, but it's fine. Okay. Poison the Cup, going to kill that. Uh, unfortunately, we just... What we need is like a rune. If we draw a rune, we might be able to kind of go off here. Uh, but it does take a rune to do that. Or a runeforge champion. That would also be quite good. Uh, because then what we could do is... Um, basically pull some stuff back and then replay as much as we want. I'm going to sacrifice another non-land permanent. Um, get rid of that. Uh, I mean, it's a creature, technically, um, and it's an extra hollowed haunting, which is quite good. We just have to stick in this game for as long as we can. That does nothing, uh, which is fine. I think I would have almost rather just untapped this and replayed it as much as we can. Uh, oh, I'm going to lose three. It's a tricky place to be. If we get the lifelink rune, uh, which I know we've got in the graveyard, um, we could potentially get somewhere. Not now, but that's fine. Okay, Runeforge Champion. That's pretty good. Uh, let's go ahead and get this out. We're gonna pull the rune from our graveyard. Now they're gonna kill this, uh, which is actually not good, but okay. Uh, solely because we still get the, the effect. So we can actually still play the rune out here. Uh, graveyard. Hit you. Perfect. Alright, let's play you out. I'm just gonna throw it on here. Uh, which is unfortunate because we didn't get to play it on this, but uh, that's okay-ish. Uh, and now we have another card we can discard if we'd like. I don't want to, though. Uh, if they activate the Lantern, we actually sacrifice the White Rune. Uh, sacrifice a non-land permanent, and we're gonna sacrifice that Rune. Because uh, that really isn't doing anything anyway. We can actually get it back out of the graveyard at some point. Um, they're going to Vulky, which, again, doesn't really do anything, and now they can't untap the Lantern? I don't see why they're not just going crazy with the Lantern. Like, blow up the board, man. All the way. Um, all right, we do have a turn here where we might be able to make something happen, so let's do it. We're going to do the best we can to push through as much damage as we can. If we can get a Life Linker... That would be ideal. Uh, if we can get that rune off the top, that'd be amazing. Unfortunately, we didn't get there. I'm going to do this. Uh, the reason being, we want to draw another card. We kind of want to push ourselves in that direction. This is very good. Don't get me wrong. But uh, I kind of was hoping for a little bit more, but that's OK. Let's attack him for 12. No reason not to. We're under quite a bit of pressure here, but or they're under quite a bit of pressure, but the reality is we can just sacrifice these now. The blood on the snow is the worry. If they get a land, they could blood on the snow. That would be bad, but we have the showdown that could help us get there. Um, 
I'm going to sacrifice a non-land permanent. We're going to get rid of a 6-6. We have plenty of those to spare, so that is fine. There's the bullet on the snow. Fully expected that. Uh, not good, but... Oh, they can get rid of that. Oh, no. That was our one chance. Um, I think we pass and leave the ridge in hand. That way we can discard it to the lantern. I think that's correct. Uh, this is such an interesting game, to be honest. Uh, we'll discard a card. Trying to play smart here, uh, because obviously they get to do a good bit of damage here. Ugh, yep. Give me any enchantment. Any enchantment. No. Oh no, we lose. All right. I'm gonna concede. That was an interesting game, though. Let's go ahead and uh, we'll we'll jump into game two. All right, guys, game two is here. Let's see if we can do it. Uh, this isn't a super exciting hand, but it honestly has all the pieces, so we're gonna try it. Uh, I don't have super high hopes, but we're gonna try it. Um, let's go for the white source first. We do have every color of mana that we need. We do need double white at some point, and truthfully, double black as well. Um, but, hmm. I think because we know we're gonna throw this out for black, let's go ahead and throw that out now. I think that makes the most sense. We've got the circle of confinement that can deal with something they play here. This looks like it could be a very aggro-y or landfall style deck. We'll see. Uh, worst case scenario, if they just do nothing, we'll just play the Runeforge champion and go for it. Um, I mean, I think that's definitely the right play. Uh, worst case scenario, though, we can always circle of confinement. So we, we've got options. Looks like they don't have anything. Um, maybe the double white would have been the better option, but that's OK. Let's go ahead and search our deck. This is going to get a card out of our deck, which is helpful. That's fine. Uh, while that is kind of annoying, it's really not the end of the world. Um, we'll go ahead and pull you. We'll just see what happens. Um, I'd love to get a land out off the top, specifically a white land. Hollowed Haunting would be amazing right now. That's very good. Um, this is less good. Uh, <laughs> OK. I mean, there's not much else we can do. We just have to circle of confinement a wolf, which is really not good. Um, I'd love to, I would have loved to have been able to, if we had gotten a black source, just sweep the board there. If we didn't, instead got a white source, we could have played the Hollowed Haunting. Oh, lands are our enemy here. Um, hmm. Let's tap this way just in case. Uh, I'm gonna throw it here, because why not? This just draws us a card, uh, which is obviously pretty important right now. There is a second land, but unfortunately it might be a little too late. They've already gotten Arlen down. They've also, they're quite ahead on lands here as well. Um, that's terrifying. They can flash things out. That's, oh, they could last turn. Yeah, of course. All right. I mean, we do have the Meat Hook Massacre. If we get a black source, we can just drop that. Um, but they're gonna get a counter on something here. Yeah. So we literally like have to get, ugh. Nope, not gonna do it. It's not gonna happen, guys. Uh, let's drop this. Uh, we'll obviously pull, oh man, yep. All right, gonna concede again. Unfortunately, still no win. Let's go ahead, let's jump into a game three. Let's see if we can do it. All right, guys, here we are for game number three. Uh, and again, this isn't a great hand, but we're going to try it. We've got three lands, so I feel like we have to try it here. Uh, we do have a turn three champion. We also do have Meat Hook Massacre available to us, which could be really good, depending on the the deck we end up uh, against here. I don't know what they're possibly going to have. I'm going to hold on to the Curse of Silence. I'm going to wait. Um, just to see. I'll play the champion now. Let's go ahead and pull a... We'll get a sustenance rune. I think that just makes the most sense. Just getting us a little bit of a life buff is probably a good idea. They could have a Doomscar here. Okay, Righteous Valkyrie. 
that's very good. Um, play this. Play this. Uh, that's very helpful. Let's do that. Let's do this. We're going to name Righteous Valkyrie. Uh, just to slow them down for any future ones. And honestly, I think I'd do this again and name Doomscar because I do think they could have a Doomscar in their deck. I don't know what... It might be a Poison the Cup, I guess. We do have uh, Lifelink and Death Touch here, for the record. Uh, and so this is definitely worth dropping out. Um, curious to see how this goes. It's going to be an interesting one, I think. Uh, maybe not. I mean, maybe they just like wreck us really, really quickly here, which is a definite possibility. But we do have the haunting next turn. And we gained a little bit of life there, which is good. Okay. Oh, that's cool. I mean, I'm into that. That's very nice. All right. What you gonna do, opponent? There's a land. That's very good. Um, we do this. I think we named the priest. Uh, where are you at? It could have also been a, like, what's that little life gain guy? I forget his name. It's not Volo, is it? I don't remember. Gain ourselves a little bit of life back here. All right. Let's see what happens. Uh, we do have Maid Hook Massacre as well. That'll just like sweep the board at some point if we need it to. Okay, borrowed time. I mean, that could... Oh, I'm curious to see what they take with this. Which one was that? We still have Doomscar. Okay, so they have a Righteous Valkyrie in hand, I bet. Uh, that's great. That's really good. Okay, cool. I'm super into that. Um... So we can name that for three. That doesn't seem good enough. Uh, let's instead... We're gonna start throwing everything on the champion, I think, and hope for the best. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> Drop you down. We'll search our library. Let's go for, I guess the Rune of Speed, just because it's uh, a power buff. that one I guess um yeah we'll just go here all right uh and now we can attack in and gain a good bit of life but also keep them in uh in check here a little bit now they could doomscar this turn if they've got it I do think doomscar is a relevant card in this matchup I don't know for sure but you just never know with this kind of stuff, so I do want to make sure we're being safe. That's a very good card. Um, one, two. If we draw a land, we can just sweep the board and kind of restart, <laughs> uh, which is kind of fine by me. Um, uh, I guess we can just start taking these Righteous Valkyries out. Because then we can just like win the game that way. Uh, let's go here. Let's put a death. Let's put it here, I guess. That's weird that it asks that. It's such an odd way to do it. All right. Curse of Silence. Perfect. We're going to name Righteous Valkyrie. <laughs> uh, again, just slowing them down. It may not solve the problem, but it definitely gets us further. Um, all right. Did we do it? Yes! That was such a fun game. Okay, we're gonna do one more. I think we've got time. Let's jump into one final game. Let's see how we do. Here we are, guys. This is going to be our last game, uh, and I'm kind of okay with keeping this. It doesn't seem amazing, but uh, I think it's worth it. We can aggressively play these runes if we'd like, and these curses, uh, just to get some stuff down. The runes obviously draw us some cards, which is good. What do we think they're going to play is the question. Um, I have no idea. I'm going to throw this out. 
but I don't know what I should pick. Um, choose a card name. Can we choose lands? Are you serious? We can choose lands? Does that work? No. So then... Alright, today I learned. That's okay. Um, interesting. Very interesting. Let's throw you down. Uh, we'll play the... Or we will name the werewolf pack leader, I think. They could have such great cards in this deck, but I just don't know, so I'm going with the ones that I know. Snow-covered forest was... Dumb. Why is that even a thing? Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Uh, let's throw you down, I suppose. Uh, and I'm gonna throw this here. We need to draw a card. We need to get to a hollowed haunting for sure. And we ended up just drawing another rune of sustenance, which is fine. Um just need a hollowed haunting really that's kind of the big one um there's arlen maybe we should have named arlen with that first one that would have been a very good idea uh, but it is what it is all right hit for three you got me another curse man uh just need to draw a card that's not a good card. Um, we just need to draw a card. <laughs> no, give me a hollowed haunting, please. Please, please, please. We can drop hollowed haunting and the curse of silence next turn if we draw it. But I think we might just be dead. <laughs> uh, that's OK. We got to see the deck work at the very least. Um, that was kind of the only goal I had, so I'm cool with it. Yep, and they get to draw a card. Ooh, that's bad. Guys, this deck is hilarious, that's all. That's all we're trying to do anyway, is be hilarious. That's all I've ever wanted in life, truthfully. I just want other people to find me funny, you know? That's so annoying. Um, I'm just gonna concede. Let's talk about it. All right, guys, so we were not very close to getting a lot of wins on that one. <laughs> oh, that was pretty rough. Uh, game three, though, we did get to see what the deck can do, uh, which is essentially just play a bunch of runes and go way over the top with the uh, spirits and that kind of thing. So it is kind of fun when it works. Um, it's a silly deck. It's a cheap deck, truthfully, with all the runes and things. It's not that expensive to make. So if you do want to try it out, I do recommend it. But it's a very silly, just kind of fun deck, so I hope you guys take that with a grain of salt, but I thought I'd try something fun today, and with Hollowed Haunting, I mean, come on, it's challenge week for it. We have to have some fun. So, anyway, thank you guys for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. We will be back with some more gameplay and challenge week tomorrow, uh, so do take that into account. If you would like to build a Hollowed Haunting deck, please feel free. Uh, it is historic for that, just as a quick heads up, though. So, until next time, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you later.